I know I'm tall, but you know, I'm not nine feet tall. Hey everyone, it's Nathan again. I'm just really excited to show you my latest rehab home, the vintage condo. So come along and I'll show you around. Here in the front room of this condo, like most original homes, there's no lighting in the ceiling. They have a switch that you switch in order to turn on lamps. So the first thing I'm going to be doing to this condo is putting some nice can lighting up on the ceiling. As far as the kitchen goes, it's really unique because there is some updates that have been done as far as granite countertops and new backsplash. However, the cabinets don't match. As you can see, we have the original cabinets here with newer cabinets here and my OCD won't allow that. We are also missing some doors. So the kitchen will probably have the most changes in the entire uh, condo just because I need to replace all these cabinets with new cabinets that match. In the dining room, uh, you come in from the covered patio, which is uh, really nice for those snowy winter days and nights. It actually came with a car charger, which is pretty nice. So I will most likely leave the electric car charger where it is so a future buyer can enjoy. Uh, other than this room, it's just going to be paint, tram, and clean it up, of course. Nothing too much in here. This is our Easter egg room. You know, you have your purple uh, colors here, but uh, so yeah, we're, it already has new dual pane windows, which is really nice. And that saves me quite a bit of money from putting windows in an entire house. So this room is gonna be very normal. It's gonna be paint, flooring, and a better light. This, this light works, but of course, it needs a little bit more lighting in here. So as far as this bedroom goes, it'll just be very usable and finished to a normal bedroom. I know I'm tall, but you know, I'm not nine feet tall. So uh, here in the bathroom, I'm just gonna leave this insert, this fiberglass insert. They're very practical and usable and easy to clean. So I'm not going to rip that out. It's really just going to be a new vanity and uh, some new lighting in here and just clean it up. So as far as the bathroom goes, the backdrop is same. And here in the master bedroom, we have a pretty groovy accent wall. Honestly, I'm impressed. This is paint. So somebody spent gobs of time masking this and painting the accent wall, but unfortunately it's gonna go. So it's not gonna work for my style. Anyway, kudos to the previous owner because that is a timely project, I'll tell you what. Uh, as far as the master goes, I'm not sure why the fan is on the ground. Probably doesn't work. So I will put in a new enough light fan up here in the bedroom, paint it, and uh, we'll move on here to the closet I want to talk to you about. And here we have the master closet, which really is not a closet at all. I mean, it's a little bedroom, I guess, because there is zero shelves or racking in here. So this is probably the most unpractical closet I've ever seen. So we're going to make it a practical closet. Put in nice shelves, racks, shoe boxes. We're just gonna make this closet actually usable. And most likely I'll open it up as well. So this floor is pretty narrow. So I will most likely open it up just to have it, not a doorway, but an uh, archway to, to go into the room. And here we have the master bathroom. And it's really interesting. This is actually uh, the same material as the other bathroom. So it's not actually stone, uh, but it, it looks really nice. And they have really nice rain head. I'm gonna keep all these controls. I definitely need to figure out what to do for the floor, whether we put a new epoxy on the floor, it's just coming off and it looks pretty bad. As far as the shower goes, it's in really good shape. The dual heads and uh, yeah, we're just gonna make it look a little better in here. Oh, well, here we go on the video. So in this room, we have the false ceiling, which I'm actually going to keep. It's, it's a lot of time and money to turn this into drywall, especially because I'm sure there's some wiring around above it. So we're just going to fill in the empty panels, fix and paint the wall and clean up this room. This is just really considered a, a downstairs family room, I, I would say. Entertainment room, movie room, and uh, yeah. Lots of cool little tricks here that I'm looking at, little uh, wins. So if anyone has a Wii, you know, maybe this could be a fun game for them called Beyblade Metal Fusion. And here in the basement is a bedroom that never quite got finished. It, it's close. So the previous owner clearly has worked on this. He framed in a closet, the bedroom. He's run electrical for lights, outlets. He just never quite finished it. So we're going to finish this room and actually turn it into a usable bedroom so that uh, somebody can have a bedroom here in the basement of this condo. So that's what we're doing in this room is just finishing what they started. And here we have that one room in the home that every one of us needs, right? The one room that just catches all the leftovers, the Christmas decorations, the Halloween decorations. I'm not going to do much of this room. It's really just a storage room. 
I just wanted to point out how groovy the carpet is. I mean, this takes me back to my childhood in the early 80s to see this yellow, orange, brown carpet. But uh, yeah, I'm here. We're not even going to do anything. We're just going to leave it to be a story group because everybody needs a place to put all their stuff. And here we have the unfinished portion of the home where the utility room is, the water heater, furnace. But right here, I'm struggling on what to do. This is clearly could be used as a bedroom. It would not be very hard. We have the window. We have walls. It would not be hard to turn this into a bedroom. This is a room that will end up being another bedroom or it'll just end up being another storage space or uh, a place to collect stuff. I don't know yet. We'll see how that goes when I run into some numbers. It's always exciting to stop by the home, see the work happening, you know, as they're doing it. Getting the mud and everything mixed up so that they can uh, start putting it on the wall. This is such a talent to have, to do drywalling and mud and tape. It is such a talent that uh, people don't realize how hard it really is. Then they jump right into spraying after they do the sanding. So we use uh, sprayers to do all the paint instead of rollers. It makes it a lot more professional looking which is obviously the goal. You know, the guys are moving doors in and out. We are decided to actually paint the cabinets in this home. And we had a couple doors made for the kitchen so that it all matches. So we needed my electrician to get in there and uh, just everybody, you know, at the same time had their role. We had the electrician gone. We had my countertop or the cabinet people, uh, mudding, taping doors. It was just a constant amount of people there. And here, you know, we, we actually painted the ceiling. So the removable ceiling like that, we actually painted it so it all matches. It looks really good. And that way it fits really, really nice, as you'll be able to see as they finish that up. And this is the end result of that room downstairs. We added that nice closet in the corner, finished all the electrical, all the wiring. I had my electrician do all that. And that is now an official bedroom. We actually closed off the door as well. Um, and here in the kitchen, look at that. The cabinets turned out really nice. All the doors, cabinets, uh, everything just turned out really well, including the master closet here. I wanted all the little uh, boxes to go along in the closet. And that turned out really, really nice as they're in the middle of it. And that's them just finishing up the painting now in the home. All right, I'm here to show you the finished product of my South Ogden home. This one's a little unique in the fact I purchased this home from one of my real estate clients who purchased one of my other homes. So there wasn't a lot of profit per se on this home. So I couldn't go through and bulldoze everything and start over. I had to, to make it look nicer, more updated, but try to keep the costs down. So here in this home, we kept the granite, of course, we added new lighting and we even kept the original cabinets. As you can see, we just added new hardware uh, and paint, obviously in the whole condo is what we painted. And that will just help keep it nice, keep it a little more updated, but uh, not get crazy and expensive. Here in the front room, we did things a little differently. There was no lights in the ceiling in this front room. And it's actually going to cost a lot of money to add lighting into the ceiling due to the design of this condo. So what I did is I just added a light that is free hanging. We put it in an enclosure there, as you can see, and it just plugs into the wall. That way, there's at least still lighting. Uh, there's one more uh, part I have on order that's not here yet that is actually two light switches. So you'll still have a light switch that will then remotely turn on and off the outlet, which will then turn on and off the light. So those uh, uh, switches aren't here yet, but it just gives it lighting in the front room without going crazy expensive and turning into the attic. Here in the master bedroom, once again, paint, uh, cleaned it up, added new LED lights. I'm a big fan of LED lights um, in every remodel that I do, as you can see. The, the biggest change in this area was the closet. I don't know if you remember, but there was absolutely no shelves. So coming here in the closet, we actually now have a usable closet with space with racking and shelves and cubbies to actually be able to use the closet as it was intended. So that was a huge win for the master bedroom. Before uh, the previous owner had just uh, standalone stands in the closet. And this way we just wanted it to be more permanent. We didn't need to do too much in here. We uh, cleaned it up, we painted in the shower area to clean that up. But really the bathroom was very clean to begin with. So really just the paint and uh, clean up here in the master bathroom is all we did. Here in the main bath, we did actually make quite a few changes. I wasn't planning on putting a new vanity in, but I couldn't uh, not put in a new vanity. So we added a new vanity here instead of the old brown one. And we also added new flooring here to match the existing flooring in the condo, just to 
make it match. You know, I don't like doing all this work throughout a home and then having, you know, a 40 year old vanity and 40 year old flooring. So in here, really, flooring and a vanity and paint, and of course lighting, cleaned it up and uh, it's ready to go now. And here in the other bedroom upstairs, once again, all new carpeting in the house where there was carpet before, new closet doors, and of course LED light. That's about it with the paint in the main bedroom here. Here in the basement, uh, we actually painted the ceiling as well. This is what the drop ceiling and the panels did not match the color of the walls, which drove me crazy with my OCD. So we actually painted the whole room down here, including the ceiling. As you can see, all new carpet, yeah, you know, throughout. This is a really nice kind of uh, bonus room, entertainment room uh, for your couch, TV room, media room, whatever you want to call it. And as we walk over here, you'll see in the previous original video, this was really old and outdated flooring. So once again, we added the new flooring, cleaned it up. This unit comes with a washer dryer, which is actually always good for a buyer. A lot of buyers that uh, purchase condos, it's their first property. So it's always good to have a nice washer and dryer for them. Uh, here in the storage room, we did nothing, <laughs> literally. So I, I took the carpet out. It used to have the old orange shag carpet, if you remember. Every home needs that one space to put all your Christmas decorations, Halloween decorations and whatnot. That's this room. So here we did absolutely nothing except the remove carpet. We cleaned this up. I could have easily added a fourth bedroom in this home right here. It would not have been hard to do, but I just didn't see the need right now. I believe that uh, a three bedroom home will be more than enough for, for this. But of course, if the buyer wants to have a fourth bedroom, we could absolutely add it here. Other than that, there's really nothing in here. It's just the utility room and, uh, and more storage down here in the unfinished portion of the home. Uh, of course, your water heater, furnace, everything else. But it would not be hard to add another bedroom here, if desired. And here we have the third bedroom downstairs, which is the only bedroom downstairs. If you can remember, it was really rough before. The previous owner, if that's just the ghost, don't mind uh, you know, the, the friendly ghosts are opening the door. So we uh, finished all the lighting, all the electrical, set my electrician here to go through it all. Added a nice closet here, just basic. You know, we didn't need to go crazy. But this is a really good sized room. This is probably, uh, you know, 10 by 15 bedroom with a nice big window. So this room turned out really nice. There used to be a wall here that went into that unfinished area and I wanted them separated. Nobody's gonna wanna be in their bedroom as somebody walks down and goes through their room. So I closed this off to be a bedroom and that's exactly what it is and this should be really good for somebody that wants their own space in the basement all right and final thoughts on this property you know it was uh, a quick one we were in and out in about three weeks which uh it's still i mean talk about a transformation uh, you're going to see the before and after pictures and the before and after video and it's quite the transformation uh you know i love doing this just to give new life to a family that that needs to buy a home I'm a huge fan of home ownership, as we all know. Also, if this is the first time watching, I am new to video and I know I'm a little awkward, everyone. I'm gonna get better, I promise. Uh, you know, when you have a video camera on me, it makes me a little uh, anxious, you can say. But please, if this is the first time you've watched one of my videos, please click the subscribe button. Follow me on my adventure of changing people's lives. That's what I do every single day and I'd love to have you along for the ride. So don't forget to subscribe and I appreciate it. Thank you.